Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I have the XRK Tank Stick. Now this is the stick with the trackball. They do make another version that's called the XRK Dual Joystick. No trackball included. But today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and I'm going to show you how to set it up within RetroPie on your Raspberry Pi. There's a few things you need to do to get it set up correctly. But after that, this thing is awesome. You got to try one out. It is very well built. There's eight action buttons for each player. There's also a player one button, a player two button, and on each side for player one and player two, there are two additional buttons. So there are enough buttons to go around on this stick. This is a heavy duty arcade stick. I have already beat this thing up and I'm loving it. The sticks feel good, the buttons feel even better. It's just an all around top notch arcade stick. It does come with a couple extra cables. This is the trackball cable here. It'll plug into the back. The joystick and button cable is already connected to the unit itself. And we have a serial cable. This is called the PC Mac cable. And your manual. So I really can't stress this enough. I've built several arcade machines and several joystick setups for the Raspberry Pi and my PC. This is one of the best ones that I've ever felt. The closest you're gonna get is getting a real cabinet. The model I have here is known as the tank stick. I'm not sure if they called it that because of the trackball or because it's built like a tank. I'm going to show you how to set this up on your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. First thing we want to do is plug in our trackball connector. This has a USB on one end also. I have my Raspberry Pi 3 here. I have a keyboard connected to it. This is a wireless keyboard dongle. I've already set this up as my controller. I'm going to plug in the main button and joystick USB to the Raspberry Pi. And I'll also plug in the trackball USB. Let's go ahead and get this set up. There's a few drivers we need to install. This is pretty easy. I'm going to do it all on the Raspberry Pi. You need to make sure you do have a keyboard connected and the Raspberry Pi is connected online either with Ethernet or Wi-Fi. All right, so now it's time to set up the XRK tank stick. This method will also work with the XRK dual joystick. I have a keyboard plugged into my Raspberry Pi. It's also connected online. You can use Wi-Fi or Ethernet. I also plugged in the XArcade stick. I've plugged in the joystick USB and the trackball USB. We're gonna have to install some drivers for the XArcade stick to work correctly. If you try to program it now, it'll be detected as a keyboard, but it will not function correctly. So we're gonna get these drivers. It's really easy to do. I'm gonna be doing it all from my Raspberry Pi. If you want to do this from an SSH application like PuTTY for Windows, you can also do that. There are also SSH applications for Linux and Mac. From your keyboard, go ahead and press F4. This will bring us into the Raspberry Pi's terminal. There's a few commands we need to type in, and you need to type these in exactly like you see them on screen. I'm going to put them on screen in the description, and I'm also going to leave a link to the XArcade support website that explains how to do this. The commands are case and space sensitive, so you need to copy them exactly. The first command we're going to be inputting is a git command. We're going to clone something from GitHub to create a folder on our Raspberry Pi's file system. That command is git clone https forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash petrockblog forward slash xrk2 jstick. These need to be copied exactly. When you're finished typing the command out, press enter. Now we need to CD into the folder we just downloaded. We're going to do that by typing in CD XRK2 JSTIC. Press enter. We're now inside the folder. We need to do a make command, so we're just going to type in make. The next command is a wget command. We need to download the drivers from the xarcade website. wget http xgameroom.com forward slash service forward slash service files forward slash main dot c. Press enter. We're going to follow that command with cp space main dot c space src. Press enter, sudo make install, press enter, and finally 
sudo make install service. Press enter. We're done installing the drivers for the X arcade stick. We need to reboot the Pi one time so we can type in sudo reboot. After I reboot this, I'm going to move over to my workbench and show you how to set this up. Really easy to do. Both players are going to be working, and if you're using the tank stick like me, you also have the trackball working. All right, now that we have everything installed, I have the X Arcade tank stick plugged in with both USB cords. I also have my keyboard. If you're using a controller, this will also work. We just need to get into the input configuration menu. Press start on your controller or whatever key you mapped as start. We're gonna scroll down to configure input. Yes. Now there's two controllers detected. This is the X Arcade, both sides. I'm gonna hold the one player button. We're gonna go ahead and set this up. You can set it up however you'd like. I have a specific way I do it. I'm gonna use this for my D-pad. Start is my one player button and select is gonna be my side pinball button. Just gonna throw these button combinations in here and you're good to go. So you can set this up however you'd like. I'm just gonna skip the rest of these by holding one of the buttons I already configured. Now if you get here and you have a hotkey menu, press your select button. I have an older version of RetroPie on here so I don't have the hotkey option. Now we can use the X Arcade Stick Player 1, but we want to map Player 2. So we're going to do the same thing on the second player. Just hold a key you previously mapped to skip these other buttons. When you get to OK, press the button you mapped as A. It's time to start playing some games. I have my Player 1 and Player 2 mapped. My trackball will also work in MAME 2003. So I'm going to go into MAME. I've already set up some trackball games here, and I'm just going to start Arcade Classics. So this is LR MAME 2003. Select will be your insert coin button. I'm going to press player one to start. So my trackball is working inside of here. There is a way to configure the trackball if you want to speed up the movement. Press this button right here. Scroll down to analog controls. And this is going to be my track one. Instead of track two, I'm going to track one. It's not listed as one. It's just track X, track Y. And I sped it up a bit. So there's a lot of main games that use a trackball, and there's a lot of really cool main games. Horseshoes, there's some bowling, there's golden tee, and games like this. That's why I chose the tank stick over the dual joystick. Now I want to do a little demo of the one and two player working within a fighting game. To exit these games, all you have to do is press start and select. Whatever buttons you map to start and select, if you're using a newer version of RetroPie with the hotkey option, you'll press start and your hotkey. Street Fighter Alpha 3, I'm going to press one player, now two player. So both of these sticks are working as one player and two player. And they work really good. This is one of the best arcade sticks that I've ever messed around with. I really wish I would have got one of these sticks a lot sooner. It's just so nice. The stick's tight, the buttons feel great, and it's very easy to configure. So this is my one player. Now I'll move over to Chun-Li on the second player control. And that's pretty much it. That's how you set up the X Arcade Tank Stick or the X Arcade Dual Joystick. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have your X Arcade Stick set up within RetroPie. It's really easy to do. And this is one of the best built arcade sticks that I've ever seen. If you can't afford a full size cabinet, 
definitely go with something like this. The tank stick right now is on sale for $149.99 on XArcade's website. I'll leave links down below so you can go check it out. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.